five, four, three, two, one. Bell. Our associate pastor is Bishop LaWanda Harvey and Pastor Barbara Jackson. We welcome you to come on in, come on in. There is a word from the Lord this morning. If you would go ahead and press that share button, press that share button because sharing is caring. Amen. Go ahead and press and share the word of God. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as we come before you this morning, we want to tell you thank you. We thank you for everything that you're about to do, everything that you're about to say, God. We thank you for waking us up, waking us up this morning, closed in our right mind, God. We thank you that our mind is not given over to the wheels of our enemy, that we have not lost our mind. We thank you, Almighty King, for your anointing that destroys every yoke, God. Even as the people are coming on, God, we ask that you bless them indeed, God. Move that tired spirit out of the way, God. Wake them up this morning so that they may be able to hear what you have to say to their church. We thank you, Almighty King, that you've already moved and shifted us, God, to another dimension in you, God. We thank you for encamping your angels all around us, God, as we go forth in your word, God, as we go forth in prayer, God. We ask that you bring the mind of the people, God, on one accord this morning, God. Don't let it be all over the place this morning, but let it be on one accord, God, that you may get all the glory, that you may get all the praises this morning that's due unto you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Now, God, as I pray even the more, God, we ask that you touch my throat, God, that I may be able to pray even the more, because this morning, God, I come to pray for leaders, God. Lead us all over the nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, bless that apostle, bless that bishop, bless that pastor, God. In the name of Jesus, I, I'm asking that the angels go to saying amen this morning, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I, Lord, as we pray for our pastors, God, our apostles and bishop, God, we ask that you encourage them even the more, God. Keep them on the wall, God. Keep them encouraged, God. Push them even the more, God. Heal them, God. In the mighty name Jesus, I, I pray for my leader, God. I, I pray for our covenant leaders, God, that you will keep them encouraged, uh, that you will anoint them even the more, God. Uh, let them hold the sheep, God, uh, that you have given unto them this morning. Uh, let them go, God. Uh, know that you are with them, God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, anoint their eyes even the more. Uh, anoint their ears even the more. Anoint their mouth even the more, God. But most of all, God, uh, touch their hearts this morning. Uh, those secret times, God, uh, those secret times, God, uh, that they're wounded and hurting, God. Uh, touch them this morning, God. Uh, touch their minds this morning. Uh, that apostle and bishop, God, uh, that has given up this morning, uh, we pray that you bring them back. Uh, for that sheep and that shepherd, God, uh, bring them back together, God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, keep them covered this morning, God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we pull them Stronghold that come against your leaders, God. In the name of Jesus, we pull out principalities, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm not praying for one person, God, but I pray for the kingdom this morning that you will bring your kingdom leaders back to the place, God. Bring that apostle back, bring that bishop back that have closed the doors this morning and that sheep feel lost. Heal them all over again. Let them know your hands is on them. 
them, oh Christ. Yeah. They call them up, say, hey, God. Yeah. Cover them even the more, God. Yeah. Cover when they don't want to be covered. Yeah. When they've been wounded, God. Yeah. Don't let them throw in the towel. Yeah. But bring them back, God. With all power, you love, oh Messiah. Yeah. With more power, you love, oh Messiah. Of 
Jesus. The truth shall prevail. In the name of Jesus. And we tell God thank you. We give God praise and honor. Because it's so unto him this morning. We give God praise and honor. I don't know about you this morning. But I need my mouthpiece to stay open. I need my mouthpiece to stay open. She's going to keep those that God has given her. And we tell you thank you this morning. We bless your holy name. There is a word from the Lord. Let it rain, let it rain, God. Let your power fall like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus. We come against every distraction this morning. We come against every dead spirit this morning. We come against every lying spirit this morning. We come against every deceitful spirit. False doctrine this morning. We come against it this morning. Yet another more fire. Yet Kuria second another more fire. Oh, poor Rama stand another more fire. Move yet another more fire. Move like never before. Set this atmosphere, God. And we gon' sit in the sanctuary. We gon' give God praise this morning because it's due unto You. We sound the alarm this morning that you are the judge, God, and you're sitting high looking low. See if we can be, God, completely yours. And we tell you thank you this morning. Come on and give God a hand praise. Come on and tell God thank you because it's due unto him this morning. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Those in our right mind, being able to speak and tell you thank you. We give you praise, God. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Let everybody say amen, amen, amen. At this time, time for the word of God from none other than Dr. Irene Bell. Oh, this morning. Not only that, he gives us the victory in all things this morning. And we tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. If you have not told him this morning, thank you for being who he is in our lives. He is the head of our lives, the bishop of our souls, and the advocate to all of our needs. And we say thank you, Heavenly Father, this morning for everything and all things. We are so appreciative for the word. Amen. In prayer. We thank God for all of you that are on this morning. We thank God for you, Pastor Williams. Amen. Can I get you to turn this up just a little bit fast? Amen. Praise God for what he's done in our lives and how God has blessed us. Amen. In prayer this morning. Bringing us, amen, to a door of an open heaven. We tell the Lord, thank you for his goodness, his kindness, his great mercies, amen, that endure forever. We thank you. We thank we thank the Lord this morning. We lift him on high. We lift him up this morning. We give him praise, honor, and adoration this morning. Amen. Because he is the ammunition. Amen. Praise God that set our lives off on a daily basis. And we tell the Lord, thank you for it this morning. We thank God for all of you this morning that are viewing. Thank God, amen, for your coming on. We thank the Lord, amen, for Rama International Ministries located in the great city. 
of Macon, Georgia. We are so excited that the Lord woke us up this morning and started us on our way. This is the beginning of a journey of an all day, amen, praise God, that the Lord is with us, amen, he's keeping us. We thank you this morning. We thank you so much, all of our viewers that are on. Come on, tag it. Come on, tag it and tell somebody that Rhema International Ministries is on. Amen. Praise God. None other than Dr. Irene Bell. We thank God for all of our leaders this morning. Praise the name of the living God. We thank God for our senior pastor. Amen. Bishop LaWanda Harvey and her husband. Amen. Brother Nate. Amen. We appreciate you so much. We love you. Pastor Prophetess Barbara Jackson. I call her two gun Jackson. We thank you this morning. We love you and bless you this morning for our pastor. Amen. Children church pastor. Amen. Dr. Latanya Walker. We appreciate you so much baby. Amen. For taking care of our babies. Amen. Every Sunday. And if you don't have anything to do. Amen. Or your babies. Amen. Are not participating in any activities at church. Bring your babies on. Praise God. Hallelujah. I think it's around 1230. 12.30, amen, she's on with the babies, and they're doing some exciting and great work, amen, praise God, they're learning that Bible, <laughs> they are learning that Bible at an early age, and we're thankful, those that teach with her and work with those babies, we commend you, amen, for what you've done and how you've done and kept us going during this pandemic, amen, yes. taking care of our babies, we thank God this morning for our youth pastor, pastor, amen, Tawana Williams, amen, who keeps Amen. Praise God us going and keep Rama alive and keeping me up. Amen. Many times saying, come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Amen. Praise God. And I want to thank the Lord. Amen. For, amen. Praise God. All of you that are viewing again. We thank you. So many of you, amen, that are saying good morning. Amen. Good morning. And those of you who sent, amen, praise God, your little greetings to me to check on me. I love you and I thank you for that. It is so appreciative. Amen that every now and then somebody thinks of you, amen, beyond the pulpit. It is exciting, amen, to know that we're loved to one of the greatest men, amen, yes. amen, amen, praise God, that ever hit this earth. I want to thank God, amen, for my wonderful husband, amen, Bishop Lamar Bell. I'm telling you, there is none other like that man of God. I'm telling you, amen, praise God. My husband is better than your husband. <laughs> I thank God for it. Amen. <laughs> he is so sweet. Amen. Praise God. And I don't say that arrogantly, just a little amen joke. Amen. Of saying something to laugh. I know there are some wonderful amen husbands and fathers who are on this morning. You're doing a fantastic work. You're doing a great job. I know some uncles, amen, that are stepping in to be fathers and they are blessing their nieces and nephews. And we thank you for that this morning. We thank God for all men who are, amen, leading the path, amen, as a mentor, amen, as a support system to a lot of young boys, amen. And this day and time, I want to say this, many young boys need some support. They need an arm. They need someone, amen, praise God, that will guide them in the right way, amen, because sometimes they don't hear, amen, praise God, anyone in their ears, and, uh, and most men don't talk. They're not talkative species, and they don't share a whole lot. But if they got someone, a big brother, amen, praise God, it helps a lot of time to have someone to talk to. Because we as women, we are yap with anybody. We don't care if it's in the grocery store. We don't care, amen, if it's in, amen, praise God, the uh, our pharmacist. We just strike up a conversation. And guess what? By the time we come out of that place that we're in, we so free. It doesn't have to be anybody personal. We're just yappers. We're just good conversationists. We are sometimes, we're just good people that we can just walk up. And, and I know some of you are like, I don't talk to everybody. That's your problem. Not mine. So I'm just moving on, just moving on. But sometime, amen, we are so blessed to have people that we can communicate with and have laughter. Laughter is therapeutic. It is healthy to laugh. Some people, amen, and we as a Pentecostal people, we don't like that. We want to play deep. Let me tell you dumb self something. It does not matter how much the Lord talks to you. And I don't mean dumb as an, uh, 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 a negative word. I'm just talking about it's dumb to play like you don't laugh or that's a sin against God. It is healthy. 
to have something to enjoy your life about besides sitting up quoting scripture because people don't want Pentecostal folks like they used to because we so deep all the time we don't know how to laugh we don't know how to do this and you cock out and looking at people because you feel like you got to search the world over and see what's all in them and give them a word about a car some people just want to know uh, hey how you doing and have a laughter it's good. It is so healthy this day and time, even the more to have laughter. It is a good thing. Somebody said, what are you talking about? I'm just doing an introductory because I want you to know this morning, amen, I'm a very joyous person and I'm so overjoyed because I survived. Not only did I survive, I strived, amen. I have strived through some things that God, amen, allowed, amen, me to hit. And I thank God, amen, for the ball that was thrown to me that I got a home run. Sometimes we don't run out of stuff. We stay, study, stay going to bases, from bases to bases and bases. But sometimes God, amen, praise God, will have you, amen, to hit. And we've stract, I've stracked out so many times that I had given up in, in some of my life journey. But as I... I began to focus on what God was saying in my spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the living God that I made it through. And I went through all of the necessary bases. And those bases, amen, praise God. Ha! Shea. Those bases, amen, praise God, was a process. Ha! I looked at him. I looked at things and didn't see how I was searching the world over. Amen. Praise God. Because God has a slew of miracles, signs, and wonders to do just for you. Amen. Let tell somebody, tag them this morning. Say, get this stopper out. Amen. Of your flourishing flood. Flood. Because God wants you to unstop that thing. Ha! He wants you to be unstoppable. Oh, God. Hallelujah. God wants you to go forward. Amen. Praise God. In order to go forward, you got to move out of that place. Hallelujah. That prostate place. Hallelujah. That have held you down. And God, I thank you. Thank you, God. No, y'all don't want to get you. that testimony, but I thank, thank you. you I'm just not a survivor. I strive. Yes, sir. I strive through it. And let me tell y'all something. Success don't make you a, a survivor. You know what the success is? And that word means more than just natural things. Success is when your spirit man have conquered. The Bible said that we are more than conquerors through him that loved the Lord. Listen to me. We always triumph. You might get knocked down a thousand times, but let me tell you something. At some point in your life, you're going to get up. You're going to be like, amen, Goliath, and you're going to hit your chest. And you're going to roar like a ah! You're going to roar like a lion. And you're going to soar like an eagle. Let me tell you something again this morning. Buzzards stop by and get anything. But an eagle will fly down low enough to see whether or not it's worthy to even touch it. Y'all ain't going to help me this morning. You ain't going to help me preach this message. Amen. Because some things, amen, praise God, an eagle, hallelujah, don't feel like, amen, it's worthy to even touch. He said, I don't, don't want to eat that. That, that. that right there doesn't have any rich soil in it. It doesn't have any, amen, stamina. It does not have any substance in it. So I don't want to be a time waster. Ha! Ho! Sha! Shay! God, I felt that one. God don't want you, amen, searching, amen, for anything else. Amen. And I said this and I'll say it again. If you can't celebrate me, I won't let you tolerate me. Oh, my God. See, this day and time, you got to move forward. And this is a drop off time that God say, I'm getting ready to do, going into my message, divine expansion. My God. Talk about it. Got to that door of divine divine God said nothing is going to interrupt this season that you're in nothing in the book of Isaiah amen 54 2 and 3 it says enlarge the place of thy tent stretch your tent curtains wide do not hold back lengthen your cords strengthen your stakes for you will spread out to the right and to the left your descendants will dis, dis, dispo, disposes or possess, disposes, amen, or possess nations and settle in their desolated cities. God said, this is what I want you to do. I want you to stretch, amen, so I can fit. 
See, God is so wide, amen, praise God. Even if we stretch, he, we, we really can't fit him. But what he's saying to us, I want you to stretch large enough so the capacity of what I'm about to give you will cause you to have, amen, spandex. You, you're up, sure. You'll stretch and be stretching and don't know you're stretching. The tesses is the stretches. Mm -mm. Those tests will stretch you. Those, those trials will stretch you. Those, 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 those sicknesses and diseases will stretch you. It'll stress, my God, stretch, stretch you and encourage your faith. You'll either live in it or die in it. You'll either have victory in it or defeat. This is not the time to be defeated. You get up this morning, I'm telling you to get yourself up and brush yourself up and be all right. Yes, you be alright this morning. My God. Don't you sit back and whine and whimper. Nothing will happen. Amen. A word cannot germinate and go in the ground and walk for you except you speak it. Nothing move until you speak it. My God. Say it. Even if you don't believe it, just start saying it and convince, convince yourself. Haven't you ever seen a liar? A liar doesn't come perfected until he starts, my God, convincing himself. Telling you a slap lie and you look at him like, now you know I know you're telling a lie. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm going to do it. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Let me tell you something. Liars, even people that tell the truth, when you find people that are trustworthy, they're going to tell you the truth. You're convinced. They're convinced. And I done told you over and over, right? Now, if you don't believe the word of the Lord that I minister or prophesy, I believe myself. All right. You got to believe in yourself. But when you find people that are, my God, have practiced lies and deceit, those people have practiced that stuff. People that are walking in faith, they practice walking in faith. Right. You got to practice every day getting up. Get up. Get up. Be all right. Be all right. Cry, but be all right. Hurt, but be all right. I hear somebody talking, but you don't understand. You'll never understand the magnitude of who God is until you trust him with your broken issue. Your broken places. He said, I want you to lift in your cords. Stretch out your stakes. He said, get ready, amen, to stretch. Lengthen. Mean long. The length of it, the width of it, the come on here, the height of it, and the depths of it. You got to understand who God is in you. You can't look at God as a limitless, limitless God. Oh God, you got to look at God as an unlimited God, right. a God that will stretch you beyond measures, stretch you beyond your expectation, a God that will walk in, Amen. And today, broke days is over. Ha! 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 Hey! Sickness, her time. It's healing time. It's victory time. It's deliverance time. It's peace time. Do you not know? Hallelujah. God can give you peace in the midst of a storm. Yes, God. Still going through my sickness, but God shall go give you peace in it. Thank you, God. You'll find yourself getting up fighting. And you might go, Hallelujah. You'll tell the devil, I don't know what I'm fighting about this morning. I just know I got to fight. Thank David said, did you come to kill me or did you come to bless me? Did you come to fight with me or did you come to fight against me? You got to find out in your spirit what these demonic forces is doing. And ask Satan. You want me to die, you, you die first. You want me to jump, you jump first. You want me to be empty, you be empty first. You want me to be hateful, you do it for everything. Ask him a question about it. Jesus. Question with a question. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, Psychologically turning it back around to him. Because he's the daddy of all liars. Yes, You're at peace. You don't even know how much peace you got. Until you use it. You don't know that car crank up until you get the keys. And put it in the ignition and turn it. Same way about your life. Except you apply the word of truth to your life on a daily basis. You'll continue to complain and walk in doubt and walk in defeat and tell yourself, I ain't got no mistake. Shut up. Woke up this morning with... Shut up. If you're not going to sing it right, shut up. 
You're not going to sing it with some kind of joy. Get up. Telling somebody to rise this morning. I know you done got mad because she yeah. don't understand. She got, I don't care. Get up. Get up. God said he wants you to get up. And don't settle for amen. Just being this my God. Hallelujah. A pity. You know I told you all something some years ago to ring. Don't feel sorry for me. Because I don't feel sorry for myself. Sometimes some things happen, amen, praise God, and the devil think you feel sorry and they try to whoop on you. Would he take that switch and whoop yourself? Slack. I'm not. I don't feel sorry for myself. When I hit Texas, I got to deal with it. When I hit tribulations, I got to deal with it. When I hit sicknesses, I got to deal with it. No one is going to stand in that gap for you like Jesus Christ who crucified as it is written. Jesus will stand for you. Jesus, God wants. You to see, God wants to see you moving forward. God has plans to bless you in all areas of your life. Jeremiah 29, 11 said, For I know the plans are the thoughts that I, I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace. God said, I want to give you some peace. And not a man of evil. And to give you an expected end. Nothing might, a man might not seem to be changing. But God has given you a promise and a commandment. For it is not a man, amen, he is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he shall repent. He said, if I said it, he said, I'm going to make good of it. God is reminding us that he is going to revive us and bring us again to a place of power. God said, I'm coming back around again. Can I just say it that way? God said, I'm coming back around again. Can I say it that way? I'm going to say it a little, amen, like the country singer said, around again. God said, I'm going to bring it back to you around again. See what you miss, amen, praise God. Maybe in that other season, my God, the other opportunity or the other place, my God, or the other victory or the other healing or the other money or the other hut. My God, huh? God said, I'm going to bring it around again. Mm, mm, mm. He said deliverance He's going to give you a play My God of power, deliverance, healing Restoration and prosperity He said I want to announce that A shift has taken place Not going to but it has yes, For good Bad and ugly God said for everything amen that you've been through Good, bad and the ugly all, amen, praise God, hallelujah. The stuff that has gone through or you've gone through in your life, God has a plan for it all. Yeah. He said, I got a plan for every bit of it. See, your enemy ain't going to tell you God got a plan. He'll just think, amen, praise God, keep talking the wrong language. So as long as you talk the wrong language, you'll never identify that God got plans. Plans are surprises. Plans is when you don't know your husband got you a, a great, amen, praise God, diamond ring somewhere or some kind of gift or your significant other, somebody, amen, in the family or whatever, amen, praise God, they got something for you. God said, I know the plans. I got something for you. God has a plan for it all. You are entering into a newer season like never before. Just like the winds can shift directions. Watch this. Watch this. God, hallelujah, watch God shift your winds in different directions for your broken hearted. Left behind things that have been slow. God, something to shift the winds. In different, let me tell you something. Sometimes, amen, the, 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 uh, the newsman can actually tell which way the wind are going. Then sometimes he got to come back and say, well, we were looking for this and we were looking for God said, listen, let, let, listen, uh, meteorologist, yeah. I control the winds. Yeah. Yes. And if I shift something in the natural, so it is in the spirit. God said, I want you to know, I shift the storm last night. Mm. Did a 20, my God, 15 minutes at the more storm here. And all of a sudden things got at peace. God said, this is what I want you to know. Even though the storm was announced. My God. Even though you know it's a storm in your life. He said, but I'm going to shift the winds that the storm will cease. Notice, amen, praise God, when the Iraqi dorm storm came in the days, amen, of Peter and those. My God, it was an Iraqi dorm storm. My God, and hallelujah, all of a sudden God spoke. 
And he commanded peace to be in that wind. God said, I'm commanding peace to be in the wind. Mm. It might blow and look like it's in a straight range. He said, but all of a sudden, it's going to pan out and you're going to have a smooth landing. Mm, 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 mm. God has plans for you. God has plans for you. Even though the wind is going in different directions, you might feel left behind. Amen. Praise God. And couldn't catch up. God is going to make you laugh in, at your enemy, in your enemy's faces. This has already shifted in your favor. Some of you seem to be in the same level you were in last year. But if I be a woman of God, watch the move of God, all that was left out in the cold yes. and seemed to have been forsaken. My God. Back, amen, praise God, to laughter. You are getting back yes. to laughing. God, I'm going to cause you to laugh. Thank you, God. Watch the hand of God reach and pull you up like, my God, to the front line like, amen, he does a runner waiting for the other runner with the stick to come up. Amen. Praise God. I wish my baby Amherst was in here. She can tell you the name of that. Praise God. Obstacle that she does. She's running with this stick. Amen. And that other runner is up there just jumping, waiting. Amen. Praise God for her to bring it past that torch in her hand. Amen. And all of a sudden, zoom, that one takes off. God said, this is what's about to happen in your life. Wait on that stick. Wait on that word. God says, go catch up. And he said, I'm coming for my word. Yeah. He said, the relay. Oh my God, some of us are in a relay. And the angel said, just catch up, catch up. Faith will walk you in some stuff and walk off. Faith, amen, praise God, hallelujah, will not allow you, praise God, hallelujah, to hold on to it long. Faith has said, God gave me an assignment. God told me to give you this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you, amen, the tools to do it. I got to walk off and leave. I got somebody else. I ain't got time to keep babying you. Now, when you're young and you forget beginning in, amen, your walk of faith, you'll find out that faith will linger around and stuff will just happen because, what? Well, you're a baby Christian. You might God crawl it a little bit. You got a pacifier. You got some warm milk. But all of a sudden, amen, faith said, chew the bone Monday. Jesus. Chew a bone Tuesday. Chew another bone Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Come on here, somebody. Faith will walk off and tell you you better chew that bone up fine. Because if you leave a sharp piece, you're going to get stuck. Mm. That was a good analogy, preacher, if you don't say nothing else. God said it is already shifted in your favor. He said if you don't catch up faith, faith, faith is something to deal with. Faith is something to reckon with. Faith will, amen, praise God, make you pray, amen, at wrong hours. Huh, Y'all didn't hear me say that. Faith will make you get up, amen, and cry, amen, about something, amen, praise God, that ain't even your business. Faith is a cry for the world. Cry. Cry for your family. Cry for your enemies. Cry for those, amen, that, have, that spitefully use you. Faith will get in your prayer room. Pray that my God, faith will get in your prayer room and war in there and make and force you to grab a hold to it and say, Hold on, we're about to go for a ride, but I'm gonna turn you loose, my God, at a high altitude. My God. Because God said He will elevate you. See, some people be waiting for elevation of paper. Paper don't mean anything if you don't have it in there. Because demon don't look at what you done wrote. Demon look at what's wrote inside of you. If there is no word, the demons look like, amen, praise God. They did in the days of Paul in the book of Acts. Jesus, I know Paul, I know, but who are you? You ain't got nothing wrote on the inside. You don't have, amen, any seal on the inside of you. You You don't have any equipment. And you are time waster. And Satan, amen, praise God, don't want nothing. He ain't got to fight. If ain't no fight up in you, that, that, that's a whim. My God. They comfortable in they saying, I already got that. Y'all didn't hear what I said this morning. I already got that, so why am I going to fight with it? It's already comfortable. I gave them, amen, praise God, the ammunition to get comfortable right there in sin. I gave them the ammunition to, amen, to hate. So they right there in their sin. I gave them the ammunition, amen, praise God, to not to pray. I got them right there in their places. They ain't going to talk to God. They ain't going to praise God. They ain't going to be on Facebook on to, at 10 o'clock. They ain't going to do nothing because they I've already got them. 
you already know your name. I'm, I'm, I'm preaching good. This is already shifted in your favor. Some of you seem to be amen in some level, amen, of your life from last year. And amen, praise God. Hallelujah. But if I be a woman of God, watch this. Things, amen, is about to change. God is going to pull you up, amen, to the front line. God is going to pull you up to the front line. I have been trying to put you, amen, praise God, hallelujah, in great expectation and imagination. And some of you still... Can you imagine now? Jesus. That's a song with somebody. I can't think of who it is. But say, can I, uh, imagine me or something like that. And they're talking about, is it Kirk Franklin? Yes. Amen. Imagine. You got to have a great imagination about yourself. If you don't think highly of yourself, amen, praise God. If you don't ex get excited about yourself, if you don't see nothing on the inside of yourself, amen, how can somebody praise, amen, praise God. And I'll say it again, it's a piss poor fault that don't praise his own part. You got to understand. You got to praise your own self. You got to be like David. Hallelujah. You got to encourage yourself. Sometimes you ain't going to have nobody around. God don't want them to encourage you. Some things will make you high and lofty with the wrong spirit and you'll end up being proud. Yes. And God said, those are spirits that I hate. hate. You, you can't be proud and arrogant. Mm -hmm. He is going to open doors that you had not anticipated to be open or never even dreamed possible could happen to your amen disappointed self. God said, I'm going to make your disappointed self Ha! Happy. Come on. I'm going to get you away from unhappiness. Satan. I'm going to drive old Satan away. Yes, ha! Yes. Whoa, God, that's an old song there. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Drive old Satan away. Yes. God, so I'm going to just drive him away. Remember, God delivered, amen, the Israelites from the iron hand of Pharaoh. Miraculously divided, amen, the Red Sea and brought them through the wilderness to the promised land. But Israel was not Faithful to God. Amen. Now remember how faithful have you been to God during your stay of this pandemic? Oops, oops, oops. How faithful have some of you been? Can't nobody watch it. God is. Can't nobody see me. I'm not, amen, accountable at church, but God sees you. Do you not know that book is being recorded of you daily? Yes, it is. The recording never stopped. Some people thought when the church is closed, that God closed. Ah, uh, it's just like they talk about the apostles. When the apostles died, the apostleship died. No, it didn't. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh! Huh? Office didn't die. Office, amen, praise God, didn't die. The people died, but the office didn't die. Amen. God still had the office open, amen, so you could be appointed in that office. Y'all don't hear what I say. See, they are acts, amen, for they, they wanted a king back in those days. Those people wanted to have a king. And what God did, and the king led them to adultery. They got the king that they wanted. And he, they, and he led them to adultery. It's amazing folks will tell you they this and they'll lead you to that. Jesus. They live, amen, a compromised life. Israel sinned it against God. Have you been sinning against God? Jesus. Have you been sinning against God? Well, I hear somebody about what is sin, Apostle? All that that ain't written in the book. That is against God's principles and against, amen, his morals. He said, they that will live holy, you shall suffer some persecution. Some of us don't like persecution, so we'll create something to bring peace in our life. But if God ain't established it, and it is not on a solid foundation, it's going to crumble. Okay. That's it. Okay. That, that, that thing is already crumbling. I already see one of those big old crane machines coming with that big ball and knocking it down. Have you? Sinned against God. Somebody said, Well, Pastor Bell, you know, you always preaching about sin is in the book. It's always gonna be written in there. I don't know how I'm gonna take it out. But it's always gonna be there. Right. All of these amen miracle signs and wonder, they're here. We got those down packed, but can you accept? Amen. Praise God. Sometime we can sin against God. Watch this second king. 17, 7 through 8. And this took place because the Israelite had sinned against God. Who had brought them up, amen, praise God, out of Egypt from under the power of Pharaoh, king of the Egyptian. 
God had brought him out from up under the strong, amen, praise God. Hardship. God brought him out from under hardship. Watch this. When God brings us out of some hardships and some stuff, some of us still ain't thankful. All right, say that. We still go to complain. I ain't got this and I ain't got this. Shut your mouth. Now, I just bless you. And, and uh, 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 I'm going to say something. I, listen, I'm even, I'm even giving you grace for the cigarettes you're smoking. For the, for, for the reefers you've been smoking. For the liquor drinking you've been doing. All this stuff, I'm still giving you grace. And you got a nerve to be unthankful. I spared your life this morning. And you are still being ungrateful when people are dying left and right. Still with this pandemic. Yes. Yes. Sicknesses. Still happening. They come, come on, give, give God some praise Thank and some thankful. Thank some people ain't made it to your age. You, we, they, they talk about the old folks, but listen, I pray that some of y'all get to be an old folk. Yes, amen. I pray that somebody like your old self. If you Jesus. get there. Jesus. Let me tell you something. When you get to be 25 and 30, when you hit 29, you're no longer in your 20s. You're in your 30s. When you hit your 30s, you're no longer in your 20s. You're in your 40s. You got to act like you're different. Because oh your body going to tell you to sit yourself down. It ain't going to work like it used to work. Sometime, amen, praise God, we can play with some children and you'll know how far you can go because that child ever, my baby, can jump with a basketball. I stand in one place and might throw it up and might not even touch the girl. I do not run after the ball. I stand out there and look and tell her to go get it. I look at her, amen, praise God, she can touch the glow. I don't even jump that high. It's some things when you know you can't go no further with, your body will shut you down. Your head will talk, but your body will do it. You might say, I told you yesterday. I told you yesterday to sit yourself down. I told you, amen, praise God, about being in that pilot with me. I done told you to stay out from my doors so much. I got on a mask, but I'm telling you, I can still smell it. That stuff siffling through up in my nostril. Didn't I tell you to protect me and stay out from out there? My God. Mm. Did not tell you. Jesus. Stop trying to run after stuff. I'm hurting. If you don't sit down, your, your, your body will say, I ain't getting up this morning. Your mind will say it's alright. <laughs> but your body will be so independent with you, your body says, I ain't getting up. You better sit down somewhere. I ain't getting up. What's the day? It ain't even Monday. Your body said it's Thursday. And I told you last Thursday to sit down. Last week. Your body will tell you. Y'all can play with it if you want to. Keep playing hot scop with these young motors. At a while, at, at a while, that, 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 that motor, y'all better hear what I'm saying this morning. Them plugs will stop working up in there. Amen. Oil can you leak down in your motor and you know anything, praise God, you might not be done put enough oil in there and that motor start clack, 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 clack. It ain't going nowhere if it shut down and it's going to cost more to fix it than to keep it. Oh. I know that right there because I've been there. I've been with them raggedy cars. I've been where, amen, praise God, a motor shut down in the middle of the road. And I'm sitting there just pushing and twisting. And it won't say nothing. Or what you call that timing thing that used to be on them cars. That thing done stopped. Amen. That timing belt. That timing chain. I remember all that stuff. Daddy taught us some stuff. Y'all ain't going to hear me this morning. It comes a time you got to understand when it's time to park your car. I don't care if it's a brand new one. Set it down. Set, set it down sometime. Have you some time and some moment. If you take all that time that you spend trying to chase whatever you're chasing. And I know some of you all ain't going to like this, but you're all right with me. I ain't got that many friends no more. I probably can count two of them on one of my hands. Ah! I'm not talking about family. Because I got them. I'm talking about friends. You, you, you got to listen to yourself. You got to hear yourself talk. Sometimes we talk so much we don't know what Duh, we don't see. Amen. And then you go back to my, I ain't said that. Yes, 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 you did. Your body say, yes, you did. You promised me, amen, praise God. When you got from the doctor's office, you were going to sit down. And the minute you got home, you went with acting like a rolling stone. Amen. Sat down. Sat down somewhere. 
I know I'm not going to put that English together, but Sodom. But they began to worship other gods and follow the practices of the nation. And the Lord, amen, praise God of Israel, praise God. Hallelujah, had to drive them out before them. He said, I, I done did this. I done drove out, amen, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. In the name of Jesus, Pharaoh, I don't know how many times for y'all. And every time I look up, y'all back with Pharaoh. You, you, you want to be in bondage. We could have stayed where we was. And Moses said, are y'all crazy? Your body will tell you sometimes, are you crazy? Didn't I tell you to get up and make two or three steps? That'll help me breathe. All right. <laughs> All right. I know I'm preaching good this morning. I just, I just can't do it. I just, you know, it just hurt. Let me tell you something. If you want to get healed, hurt. I can, tell you, I, I can tell you that as a matter of a doggone fact. If you want to get healed, hurt. You get mad with your own self or hurt. You will get up and get mad, amen, not with the person or the thing that hurt you or the devil that came to fight and war with you. And somebody said that's a spirit, but the spirit can't operate except he find himself a place. It's got to find a human body to get in in order to operate. If there's anything else operating and you can't see it, it's called witchcraft. <laughs> oh, God, I felt that the devil got silent. The witch even looked at me funny. Shandosha. <laughs> Because, amen, it has to have a body. If the head is off, amen, it's witchcraft. Jesus. <sighs> I wish y'all could hear what I'm saying. I'm preaching good this morning to one. I need a yes, good offering God. this day. I need y'all to even give me, amen, a sacrificial offering. Ah! My, 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 my. Second Kings 17 and 18 says, Therefore the Lord, amen, was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. Don't let God get you out of his sight. Stay in God's sight. There was none left but the tribe. This right here blessed me. Nobody was left but the tribe of Judah. And what was that? Praise. God said, I don't want nothing else standing up before me if it ain't going to praise me. Jesus. Mm. God said, if you not going to celebrate me, I won't let you tolerate me. Praise me. Become a Judah praise. A worshiper. A praiser. A dancer. Amen. Jehoshaphat didn't go get to pray and pray in people. He went and got some worshipers. He said, find me somebody that know how to dance before the Lord. And I'll show you victory. Find me somebody. That'll get to dancing off a neck. They don't even hear nothing but in the air. In the air. I hear music in the air. And they'll start. Yeah, he might go and get up and start to dancing. And you be like, what's wrong with them over there in the corner? Why they dancing? I just feel music in the air. I feel an open window. I see a window. Amen. That I can stretch in. God told me to hatch up my window. <laughs> And I'm going to get through that window. Go to that window right there this morning. That window right there. That's how I work through that window right there. What illegal action has you been doing against God doing this pandemic? Yeah, I asked the question. What kind of illegal activity you've been doing what kind of legal act, action you've been doing right. against God during this pandemic and not repented and returned back to God? What illegal stuff that you keep doing? Sometimes the police ain't sitting in the same places. You can run through there if you want to, tag, you get a ticket. Sometimes they ain't in the same spot. Judgment day is upon some of you. Look at their present condition. Israel was suffering in exile. They were completely controlled and overrun by Babylonians. Isaiah, amen, 54 explains their condition. Bearing this in Isaiah 54 and 4. Bearing women, amen, do not be afraid. He said, just because you don't have anything and they had nothing, amen, in a while. And that goes for male or female. You will not be put to shame. Do not fear disgrace. Don't fear it. If you've been disgraced before, he said, uh-uh, I'm, I'm going to stop the disgrace. When you do it right, God said, you repent, I'm going to stop it. 
He said, and you will not, amen, be humiliated. You will forget those shame, amen, of thy youth. He said, you're going to forget the shame of your youth. He said, and remember no more the reproach of your widowhood, des de uh, deserted, distressed, and rejected. He said, you're going to forget all that stuff. All of that yeah. deserted. You was deserted. Amen. He was in distress. My God. And you was rejected. It's all right. Got news for you. Isaiah 54 and 6 said, The Lord will call you back. My God. God said, will call you back as if you were a wife mm. deserted and distressed in spirit. This thing done damage to your spirit. See, people don't realize, amen, some things, amen, go deeper than what you think. God said, when that thing start touching your spirit, it start touching me. It might have hit the surface, but God said, if it go deep, huh? And I feel the pain of that nail. I got to deal with it. Come on, no shot. If it goes in my feet, I got to deal with it. Because it'll hinder my praying. If it get up in my heart, it'll damage my heart. And I got to deal with it. If it hit my arms, it'll stop me from lifting up my hands. I got to deal with it. 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 If it affect a man, what comes out your mouth? I go to if bitterness in my God. Hallelujah. Comes out your mouth. I got to deal with it. And I got to deal with the one that caused it. Because you were like that before. Mm, 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 mm. In the book, Amen. Praise God of Isaiah 54 and 6. Amen. The Lord God will call you back, will call you back as a wife deserted. He said, I want you to understand that scripture. I'm calling you back like a wife been deserted. He said, Do you know the pain of a wife who's been deserted? Or even a husband yes. that's been deserted. Isaiah 54 and 7 says, For a brief moment. God said, what nothing but a brief moment. Watch this, watch this, watch this. A brief moment. I abandon you. But with great deep passion will I bring you back. God said, I'm going in there for you. You ain't got to go in it, baby. God said, I'm going in there. You're going to be all right. See, this scripture was for me. He said, I'm, I'm going to deal with it. He said, I'm going in that, that deep place, amen. And I'm going to bring out, amen, praise God. Because at first she was very compassionate, amen, praise God, in things and the work of God. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm coming in to deal with it. You can't pray. You can't fast. You can't seek God. You can't get, amen, no peace. You're at my God, hallelujah. So much restless night. So many restless nights. God said, I'm going to deal with it with compassion and bring you back. I'm, I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to bring you back. That tear, those tears that you been dropping. God said, I'm going to bring you back. All right now, baby, baby. All right, come on now. God said, I'm going to bring you back. Didn't I tell you it was going to be all right? It's going to be all right. God said, I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to come back to you, baby boo. Afflicted, lashed out, storms, not comfort. He said, I'm going to bring you back from all those storms and you wasn't comfortable and you didn't have no comfort. He said, I'm going to bring comfort to you. Isaiah 54 and 11, afflicted city. Amen. Praise God. Lashed by storms in your life. He said, I'm coming back to Amen. Of all those storms that lashed out at you and not comfort you. He said, I'm coming back. Amen. For all those, my God, storms that overtook you. Amen. And wasn't no comfort. He said, I'm coming to comfort you. Y'all don't hear what I say. So sin took Israel into a pit of ruin. Yes, it did. Jesus. Come on now. Amen. Praise God. Some of you got to repent this morning. Come on. Come on. Let it out your mouth. Go ahead. Tell God, I'm sorry. Yes, Forgive God. me, God. Repent. 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 And do your first work all over again. Yes, Amen. God. Amen. Praise God. Time is here now. So go ahead and get it out. Get it out. Say, I need to repent. They were fruitless. There was no growth, regardless how many times, amen, praise God, they came. They couldn't get nothing to happen. Watch this. When you can't get nothing to go right, God is trying to tell you something. Yes. And I'm not talking about the color purple. God is saying, amen, praise God. Listen, before you go any further, I want you to do something for me. Even if you don't feel like you've done nothing wrong, just repent. Just tell God you're sorry. You, you ain't got to go back to a slew and ton of people. Just, just tell God I'm so sorry 
Now, if you got the right heart, you can go back to some people. But when you ain't got the right spirit, arrogant will hit those things. And that, praise God, spirit of pride will tell you, ain't done nothing. I'm talking good. I'm talking good. Lashed out in storms and comfort. Sin took Israel to a pit of ruin. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. They were fruitless. There was no growth regardless of how much effort they made and they put in it. Wasn't nothing happening until Israel had to repent. Israel was on a hopeless, fruitless, amen, praise God, and much, amen, praise God, barrenness. This morning, I don't know what your shortcomings are. And I do not know if you have been unfaithful to God. Maybe you have neglected your prayer life. Neglected church. Maybe, amen, you missed, amen, you messed up in your family. Or your personal life. You could not hold on to your calling of faith faithfully. Jesus. You messed up in your calling, amen, of faithfulness. And faithfully you have not done everything that God has planned it for you to do. Maybe you have done everything right and still face this grace. Maybe your dreams, amen, praise God, were shattered into pieces. Jesus. Maybe health issues that are struggling, amen, praise God, for a long period of times in your life, amen, have been hitting you left and right. Yes, Still fighting for your life. Struggling in your career or business. Yes. Your peace has been shattered. And it has been scattered. Mm. Maybe some of you felt humiliated. Yes, Somebody shout, amen, praise God, hallelujah. Peace. 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 Because sometimes you got to just tell peace to be still and just moving everywhere. Maybe some of you felt, amen, praise God, hallelujah, that ha, huh, that I can't do anything else for me. I prayed, amen, every prayer I know how to pray. And I can't do anything. God said, go back and do it again. You might not see but a speckle of just one drop of rain, but I smell some rain in the midst of your sand. Sometimes a sand life is a wilderness life sometimes for us. It's full of sand. I believe you went to what state that was? Arizona. Full of sand. Just, just dust. Sometimes your life can just be full. Nothing but dust. No rain. But God said, I'm going to make the rain come. I'm going to make it come. Struggling. Just struggling. Just struggling. But God has a plan in his control. I have some good news for you this morning. Barrenness is not a permanent condition. Yes. Our God is a creator. The breaker has come through for you. God is breaking your barrenness. You may, may go, you may be going through fire and flood. Or the devil huh, wants to swallow you up. But Jesus has prayed for you that your faith may endure to the end of these seasons. Yes. Or this season. Breakthrough is here. Breakthrough is here. The Lord of the breaker. Isaiah 45, 1, 2, 3 says, Amen. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, to Cyrus, whose right hand, amen, praise God, I have held to subdue nations before him. And I will loose the lions. I'm talking to you this morning. Whether it be Rhema or friends or guests or family. He said, I'm going to loose the lions. Amen of kings. I've been preaching this for a minute. Because something is on us. Jesus. And it ain't chicken grease. Mm -hmm. ha! My God, the anointed oil is upon us. It's going to break every yoke. And the Bible says this in the book of Isaiah. Amen. He said, because of the anointing. The yoke was broken. Come on here. And open. Amen. Praise God. He said I'm going to amen. Loose the lion of kings to open before him the two living gates. Jesus. God said I'm getting ready to open up some gates. I'm going to shut those. Amen. Unauthorized gates. And, and I'm going to open up. Amen. Portals that you have never seen before. And the gates shall not be shut. Y'all yes. better catch this. I will go before thee. And make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass. And cut in sunders the bars of iron. I will give thee. This was a good part for me. Yes. He said I will give thee the treasures of darkness. Thank you, God. And hidden riches of secret places. That thou mayest know that I the Lord which called thee by thy name. Yes, 
am the God of Israel. He said, listen, I'm going to call you by your name. Some folks, well, I don't think he paying no attention, but he know your name, boo. Much as you don't holler, he know your name. Thank you, God. Amen. You know, amen, praise God, little Richard's name before you, if, if it's six kids in your household, you know every child's distinctive cry. You'll tell us about that. Ain't nothing, nobody but little Richard. That, he cry all the time like that. I already know who that is. That's the way God is. He said, your, your cry is distinctive. I don't mess up. I don't miss houses. I'm not like, amen, the mailman. I don't run past your house and your mail got to come tomorrow. If I say it's today, it is today. And this is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm going to rejoice and be glad in because God says this is your set season, your timing, amen, that God is moving and he's not going to do it haphazardly. He said, I'm not going to miss my God what I promise you because I'm not a man. That I should lie. Neither the son of man that I shall repent. He said if I said it I'm going to make good yes. of it. God is promising divine expansion. Yes. This set amen season. Tell the devil this morning you better get back. I'm about to stretch out. God's divine expansion is on me. Some amen, praise God, hallelujah. Some of y'all need to tell the devil this morning. You need to go ahead and tag that. God, amen, praise God, is stretching me out for greater expansion. Yes. God is telling you this morning, you will not be disgraced. You will spread out to the left and to the right. You will stretch. Watch this, this was good too. You're going to stretch your own self. He said, you're going to stretch your own curtain. Do you realize when you got to stretch, you can't tell somebody else to stretch for you when you need to stretch that muscle yourself? Yeah. You need to stretch that faith yourself. Can't nobody, amen, praise God, do you a hookup? You got to stretch your own self. He said, stretch your own curtain because of what the Lord is doing in your life. So don't look at what you are right now. See, the change... The change that is coming your way, amen, praise God, is not going to cause barren, barrenness, amen, praise God, barren women's to return or barren men's to return. God said this is going to be one of the most unusual seasons you've ever seen. Watch what I tell you. It's going to be one of the most unusual seasons we've ever dealt with. You're going to be fruitful. Big plums and grapes that you've seen others have. God's going to put them right in your hand. Listen, it's up to you to take the exercise to go get it. Mm, 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 mm. The Lord is telling you it doesn't matter what you are. Your condition is presently. A new season is coming your way. Another day is here for you. Ignore what people have called you. You, amen, praise God, whose life was once a laughing stock. Folks made fun of you, told lies for I don't know how long, embarrassed and opened your life up, amen. And folks that were sticking by you stopped sticking by you. But God said, you're not going to be. I'm not going to ignore you, amen. And I want you to ignore them because this is your set season. You've been the laughing stock. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. You've been, amen, somebody's edge of the night and search for tomorrow. They've been looking and finding faults and finding this and trying to do this and trying to do that and been blaming you for what, amen, you know what was in your heart, but it was in them and you allowed them to become, amen, the cripple in your thought. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Whose life was once a laughing stock called old-fashioned, bewildered. Nothing ain't going to happen for you. Sack. I had to write that down. That feel good. Sack. Baby, that's one big lie the devil done told you. You're looking at me funny. This ain't a ha-ha moment for you. You ain't, amen, praise God, seen my fire yet. My hopes and dreams look like it been dead to some folks. Talk about hard behind my back. Yeah, some of you been talking about hard behind your back. Thought, amen, praise God. Some of you, amen, praise God, was really not going to make it. 
You really was against me. Do you ever find somebody keep looking at you and they don't think you're going to bounce back because, hey amen, you had such a critical... Anybody, let me ask you a question. Anybody ever went through a critical life? And I'm not talking about you lost your furniture or you lost your house. I'm talking about a, a severe life place in them. Your inward part, your, 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 your essence of who you are, the integrity of who you are was damaged. It, it was sabotaged and it took some time to regroup and get you. Anybody ever been through that? That you hit some doors in your life and you wanted to crawl under the earth but the earth wouldn't let you come in there like that. And God says, stay. You're going to go back to that city and that's the city you might be able to show. You'll build in. God said, I'll fix the city. Thank you, God. Oh! God, I felt the Holy Ghost there. God said, I'm not going to let you continue to be the laughing stock. I'm going to bless your life. I'm going to cause, amen, the token of liars to be frustrated. That's that, 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 that's, that scripture there. That scripture right there. It's time to rejoice. Burst into song of praises and thanksgiving, amen. For your God, the Lord, amen, of the breakthrough, amen, praise God. God has remembered your cry and it has reached the heaven for an answer. Yea and amen is your answer. God's plans to prosper you. Jabez prayed to the Lord. Oh that thou would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hands be with me and keep me from harm. So that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Let me tell you something. When you pray the right prayer. And that heart is in there. And it's right. God will resuscitate your heart. My God when it died. And the devil saw you died on the table. And they looked at you as a laughing stock. And God said get up and live again. God said get up. And rejuvenate, revive your own self. Sometimes you got to put your heart and say your own pledge of allegiance. You got to have your own pledge of allegiance. You got to help my non-Korea. You got to encourage yourself. You got to get up sometime. Amen. Praise God. And damn up to my God the walls of Satan. The Bible said, damn, amen, the waters. Stuff that done gushed out and hit you so hard and impact. Amen, praise God. And you can't explain and tell nobody how hard and how bad you are hurting. But God said, release yourself. Yes, Lord. Get your own pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to Jesus this morning that I will survive. I will strive. I will have victory. I will have joy. I will triumph. I will be thy hope. Yes, but the call shot. My God, I felt that one too. I felt yes. that one. Jabez prayed. God said to Abraham, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. God indeed, amen, did what he promised to Abraham. Abraham, so matter, may God, so no matter what your condition, don't hold back. No matter what your condition is this morning, don't hold back. Do not let yourself feel like you are useless and waste it. Yes. Don't get those kind of feelings. Don't go to talking crazy. I know some of you, amen, can be a fool. Amen. What are you saying, apostle? I've been there too. Just go to talking crazy. Just as stupid as I can be. I've been there, done that, and got a t-shirt. Those same spirits will come back and fight you and see what's there. The Bible said they search for dry places. They search to see whether or not that place is still tender. Sometimes people can hit a tender spot and you don't even know you done hit it. And they'll holler out. And they'll say, don't, don't, don't hit me right there. Don't, don't, don't do that. But Satan said, I found that weak place. And I'm coming back, amen, to taunt you with it. Yes. He'll find your weak places and he'll find. And Satan don't want nothing he can't fight. That's just like a man. A man don't want something that's easy. He wants something that's, that's going to put up right. a fight to be some good, good material. Good, good old wife. Ooh, she, I had to chase her. She ain't want to give me no sugar. He, she, he didn't want, amen, bring me, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all know y'all have that baby time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Then all of a sudden, you get hit with the caboose. Because what? It was a fight. And it was a fight to the finish. Rusty. Rusty, keep looking at the camera. Rusty.
keep looking at the camera. I've seen you rest to keep looking at the camera. God is about to blow your mind. And I'm about to slap Rusty. Isaiah 1 and 18. Come now. Let us settle the matter. This is what God is saying. Says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet. They shall be as white as snow. God, I'm still giving you a chance. Yeah. Though they are red as crimson. They shall be like wool. God said wool is white. I'm going to get your heart right. See, see, when man won't get you and forgive you and won't let you go. And I keep doing stupid stuff, just dumb stuff. God said, I I'll make your heart like wool. I I'll clean you up. I I'll fix that. Repent of this wickedness. And my God, the book of Acts, amen, 8 and 22, 23, say repent of this wickedness and pray to the Lord in the hope, amen, that he may forgive you for having such a thought in your heart. God said, what's in your heart? I know it. Stop that playing. God know what's in your heart. To lie himself. Just lie. Just my, you so gifted at telling lies till it has become gifting death. You're anointed with it. You're anointed to lie. Oh, am I right, Pastor? You know you ain't. I, 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 I'm okay. Come on, you. If I snatch the scab off of that thing and I've done it this morning, you sit up there and I probably done turn me off. You probably stuck on your phone over there texting somebody while I'm preaching. A demon seed you. For I see that you are full of bitterness and captive in sin. He said, I see you. It's amazing that God sees us. Because of this pandemic, many people have gifted, amen, and steered in the wrong direction because they think because church, the building makes them more accountable. This test, I believe, has proven who really had what they see. He said, when the true worshipers appear, y'all didn't forget that strip to did you? He said, when the real folks, the real true worshipers come, you're going to recognize them. They hung in there. Some of us been getting by by the skin of our teeth. Some of us been struggling. But we refuse to let sin overtake us. I'm not saying you won't mess up. Don't, don't get me wrong. Some of y'all said, yeah, old school, y'all think you're everybody perfect. Let me tell y'all something. Back in them days, amen, praise God, we, we had people that were genuinely hard. You knew the mothers, amen, they were mothers. We knew, amen, the, the, the younger ones, as the Bible says, amen, the older mothers, amen, seasoned the younger kids. And we took time with those young women and we, amen, worked with them and taught them how to become homemakers and taught them how to love and cherish their husband, taught them, amen, praise God, some things about, amen. Man, life itself and value. But you don't hardly find that no more. You find now the mothers looking like the daughters and the daughters. They got on short skirts with arthritis and their knees, amen, are crinkled up real strong. And they look real strong and wrinkled. Real strong and wrinkled. And they got a limp on the left side. And, 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 and let me tell you something. It's okay, amen, to get wisdom and knowledge from people that have been there. You don't have to, amen, be that old. Amen. You got good sense to go across that road where I live. It's a whole bunch of traffic. All you got to do is stop at the end of the road. When you see traffic, stop. Don't, don't, don't find yourself in traffic. And in, in traffic, the Bible said broad is the way and narrow is the gate. Sometimes you got to understand some gates you ain't got no business in. You just can't wear them short little skirts and... Mm -mm. Them, them, them knees, them knees will tell it Them knees will tell it When you used to sit on the floor You sound like a 38 oh now my God. And you trying to get just on the sofa <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You trying to get on the couch You trying to sit down and you popping yes. And you not in nothing but your 30s you, you, you already popping You ain't got to your 6s I wonder what them things sound You might have to get you some of that uh, WD-40 <laughs> That was good, Apostle. Just for y'all to laugh. I know I done made some of y'all real. Mm. Mm -hmm. Isaiah. 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 Don't let the spirit of error keep you hanging around. 
with the enemy because the Bible says he comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. Expansion time is up on us. It's just like taking a test for a job. When you know that time, amen, you got to get up early and you got to go take a test. You need proper amount of sleep and peace of mind. You need to whoosh out. You, you, you just have to get away sometime and, and find yourself at peace. <clears throat> I'm going to leave that alone. Isaiah 54 and 2 says, Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch out your tent curtains wide. He said, Do not hold back. He said, Don't hold back yourself. Let yourself go. Yes. Just let it ride. Let the wind get in your hair. Let it ride. Before we see increase on the outside, we have amen conditions. God said, Before you can see increase, we're going to call some. You, you, you got to do it. You got to condition yourself. You got to teach and start working on love and relationships and, and amen, living right and, and holiness and what it is to you. If it don't mean that to the, nothing to you, you're not going to do nothing about it. It's just like a, in a relationship. If you just talk relationship and don't do nothing, action speaks louder than words. You got to put action with word. Faith without work is dead. Work without faith is dead. The two works together simultaneously and it makes the whole. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe you need to change your perspective. Oh God, to receive divine expansion. You cannot get what God wants you without enlarging the capacity of your mind. And it will take hard work. It's going to take hard work. As you repent and allow God to heal your broken heart, change will overtake you. Now let's be willing to change and stretch. Somebody say you got a lot of scriptures. Yeah, because I don't want you coming up to me. I don't know what she was saying. I don't think that's biblical. Read your Bible. It's said now. It's said now. Read it. Romans 12, 1 through 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy. Acceptable. Not unto no preaching. Not into no human. But he said unto God. Which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed. Now here we go now. Some of y'all already pissed with me. But he said be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you will prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Sometime when you see that scripture. Amen. Praise God. And we talk about renewing the mind. And this is what I've seen. Amen. Over the years. And I thank God that we have a people in our ministry. At Raymond International Ministries. Amen. Who have seen. Amen. The light. Amen. At the tunnel. At the end of the tunnel. They have seen me. Amen. Allow and, and, and use and work. Amen. On every man's level. Even our young people, even those, amen, praise God. I've got more of the younger kids, amen, amen, in, in, in standing relationship that I do with the older saints. Because, amen, because sometimes, amen, praise God, people get beside themselves and they, you just too young and you just too old. Y'all sat in your way. Let me tell you something. Don't throw away all of the old landmarks. Don't, don't throw it away. Watch this. All of the stuff that they wearing now, we used to wear all of the hairdos you see it now, we used to have the nappy hair. We have no choices. They, we call them pigtails. They calling them, amen, praise God, with them things. Braids and, 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 uh, no, not the puff balls. I'm talking about them, them braids, Indian braids, Indian styles. Uh, they doing all kind of braids. Blocks, locks, box braids, everything. All that stuff was done by the old parents. We went to school. We call them pigtails. You got a new name for it. What's been under the sun? Limitation and Ecclesiastes talks about it. What's been under there has already been done before. You just seen it as a new. The bell bottom pants. I don't know what they're calling them now, but you see that. You see the amen praise God the days of do pants. You see that those shorts are shorter than shorter. We thought they were cool, but some of you that gets disgraceful. No, you wore them. That's right. That's right. You had them on slipping at your mama's window. Right. Going around, amen, praise God, to every drunk club that you could find. Mm. You were drunker than a Cooter Brian. Some of y'all, amen, you look good now, but you was a you was a drug head. You smoked that dope. You drink more liquor than anybody. And you stood and got in your car and went home. Yes. 
Yeah. Oh, that child going to, ooh, something bad going to happen. You had some grace on your life. Thank God for grace. There's some things we know better. We do better. Yes. Somebody say, you just got through talking about sin. I'm not talking about those of us that will live righteous. I'm talking about the grace for the space and the space for the grace. I'm talking about, amen, praise God, that you pray for folk who are out there. You pray for those people. You don't try to put bad mouth on everybody. But you know you had a bottle here every which way. You got home the best way you could. You were drunk getting home. You ain't told how many people, amen, about your record. You ain't told people how much sin you did. You look at your kid. Oh my God, I just don't know who's child. Yes, you do. You were hooking and jooking just like she is. What the? Rosha. No different. Ain't no different. It's just a new, my God, stud. It's just a new, amen, character doing it. All the other stuff is been under the sun. You slipping and you dipping, you going. And some of y'all will go Monday and Tuesday because you think ain't nobody out Saturday and Sunday or Friday and Saturday. But you out all through the week and you in new spots. It's some more demons just like you out there doing the same. Expansion, come on, talking about expansion. They out there doing the same thing you do. And you will run up on them. And sometimes folks don't say nothing. They be like, you know, so and so I saw them such and such a play today. <laughs> well, you know, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm cool because I was out there, you know. We yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna cover them. And you be laughing like didn't I tell y'all one time, Rayma, I said I can be in making and be done spotted some of y'all and y'all don't even know that I had already spotted you. And you wanna know well, how come you were there? I was going to a certain store. Passed by one time and one one of my members said they didn't drink, and there they was, amen, at the liquor store. And the lie they told, I was cashing my check. Right. <laughs> you know a lie don't care who carries. Ah! My, 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 my. I thank God this morning, hallelujah, that salvation is not free. My God. Somebody said, salvation is free. No, that you got to pay for it. If you keep messing up, you're going to pay for that sin. My God. Yeah, you, you, you'll pay for it. I'm closing. Yes. I'm closing. I'm closing. I'm closing. God said, I'm going to read you. He said, I want you to be renewed by your mind. And I want you to prove what is good and acceptable will of God yes, is. And the perfect will. Change is the product of a new beginning. Change is the product of new beginnings, adventures, new relationships, and new love. New love. New love. I'm searching for a new love, baby. Sometimes you got to search for a new love. Don't keep getting Bobby Brown. Don't keep getting them bad boys. Bad boy, what you gonna do? Find you somebody, amen, praise God. And I'm not talking about just men. I'm talking about women's too. Bad girl, bad girl. She don't took all my money and ran to Mexico. You know that was a money grubber when you married her. You know where you got her from, dude. You already know she was in your pocketbook before you got her. Eating at all the, the nice restaurants. You didn't stop and take a bite. McDonald's first. You said, listen, I want to see can you eat one of these murder burgers. Jesus. <laughs> if you don't die, I can keep you. I'm just saying something. I'm just laughing. Just laughing. Y'all don't like to laugh. I like laughter. I like laughter. Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of righteousness and all of these things will be added unto you as well. And if you got some type of excuses for not having time for God, make time. You got excuses this morning. I ain't got time. I yes, you do. You got more time on your hand now than you ever had in your whole life. Amen. You do. All you got to do is go in the room and shut the door. And you got some time. Get off Facebook. Uh -huh. Stop your messy ways. Stop it. There's always priority required. And our first priority must be God. Who is the head of my life and the bishop of my soul. My king of kings, my lord of lords, my wonderful savior, and my prince of peace. Jesus Christ as it is written, amen, in the book. God is restoring all that the devil has taken. As I prophesize and sense restoration. I'm going to read you this prophecy and I'm done. An unusual breaking that will cause many to have immediate breakthroughs. 
and break out in abundance. This thing is coming to happen in abundance. This is going to be like a gush or a gush of water. You ever seen the waves come up in the air in that high, amen, lifted up stage and it comes back and the, amen, the, 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 the guys, the surfers don't get on it until the waves are at a certain high. God said, you've already completed that height. I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you this morning. You've already completed. My God, he said, you've already completed that height. He said, it's going to be unusual breakthroughs that will cause many of you to have immediate breakthroughs. He said, over into wealthy places. Watch this. Oh, this is good. Without asking anyone for help to open the door. God said, well, open it myself. God said, you've been trying to get connection. He said, you ain't going to need the human connection in this season. I'm going to connect you to the right people. I'm going to cause you to get before kings and kings. Well, why? Why God? Kings and queens. I'm going to cause your name, amen, to come from the bottom and rise to the top. They had somebody else's application, but your application is going to be in the place. I don't know how I got you here, but God said, I've already opened the door for you to get there. He said, I'm coming for my word. Y'all don't hear me this morning. As I promise Emphasize it to you. Gates will not be closed or shut for any reason. God said, I'm not going to let them be shut now for any reason. Coming in and going out as you please. He took you out just to bring you in. Set you up and be restored. He said, I want you to be restored in that broken place of your life. Preparation is inevitable. Come on up and overtake your divine seat of expansion. This move of God will thrust you into years ahead of time. Woo! God, what kind of miracle is about to happen to us? Before, my God, you're going to get thrust into years ahead of what has been holding you up. God's going to thrust you beyond that. Stuff that's been holding and restraining and pulling and tugging at you. And it felt like, amen, you had a whale. And when my time... When you looked up, you couldn't find God. The cord, amen, the, the length of that cord wasn't further enough look like. But God said, I'm going to reel it in for you. You ain't going to oh, you ain't gonna have that hard time and that hardship like you once had. I'm going to reel you in. It's going to be easy. God is going to bless you beyond that normal income. Glory God. You had a normal one. God's going to give you one of those abnormal moments. You ain't going to be able to explain all of this. You're going to try to. But you ain't going to be able to get the explanation out like you want to. He said, I'm going to get you in it and make my God beyond your expectation. And I'm going to heal you, my God, my God, of that feeble health that you've been going through. You might have been barren, living in disgrace. But God is prophesying that singing and rejoicing is coming. God is going to expand you, amen, on the right and on your left. He is going to multiply your joy. We do not know how it's going to happen. But God has a thousand ways to increase you. A thousand ways and more to increase you. This morning, as I prophesied to you, the fight has been fixed for your greater expansion. It's been a divine moment. And it's going to be even greater for you. You're going to testify. You're going to have a testimony. You done been to the, through the test of season But you watch God move for you Watch him hold you And he gonna hold the devil up He gonna say pass Pass And I see the Lord even doing this Saluting some of you You call hell But you got through it He said I salute you That's what, that's what Paul did to Timothy and those He said I salute you ha! Did it for the Corinthians. He said, y'all got some division. He said, but I salute you. Come on, though. God said, I salute you this morning. You've been through hell and back. You came out of hell just to tell a testimony. You came out of despair. You come out of this grace just to have a testimony. I allowed you to be embarrassed. I allowed you to get hurt. What I let for you you allowed me to come in. Y'all better get that. He said, I let it happen. But you let me in. See, sometimes people go through hardship. And they go through certain trials. They become bitter against God. But God said, you didn't become bitter with me. You let me in when I let you out. What time? You might have not had the right feathers to fly. But I gave you strength enough to fly higher. Yes, Lord. He said, yes to my will. You said yes. 
He said, you stoop low enough to give me a cry praise in a broken place. You were so low one time, amen. People didn't even understand how you were still standing and they hated you for standing. They didn't know how you was propped up. They didn't know how you was holding up. But God ah, had his hands on you and you were so broken and crushed. Oh, my God held you together. And God said, you came back to me. He said, please me that you were bruised. It pleased me. Mama, mama, say the minute for evil, but I meant it for your good. And your good ain't halfway been told. You ain't told them all that testimony, but you got something you got to say. Watch your praise break. Watch your praise break. It's going to be in the living room. You're going to have to pull aside the road. You're going to be in the bathroom. You're going to be in the washroom. You're going to be sleeping. God going to wake you up and alarm you and say, praise me. It's on there. It's there. Watch the breakthrough. Watch the breakthrough. I'm gone. I'm gone. Good morning. Good morning. Jada Tucker says, yes, Lord. Stacy is on this morning. Said, thank you, Lord. Can you go ahead? Amen. Praise God. I'm trying to get amen through this. You don't know how to run this thing, do you? Amen. Praise God. Uh, Tanidra Blunt. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Sister Blunt. Uh, Pastor Blunt. Prophetess or whoever. Amen. Praise God. You are baby. We thank God. Pastor Jackson is on this morning. I don't know. I hear victory in the wind of my ear. In the wind of my spirit. I feel a cough coming up. God said I'm going to cough it up. What to? My shame, Satan has got to let you go. Yes, God. He don't have an option. He don't have, amen, any more time. Uh, 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 time is up. T time is up. Good morning, Brother Gerald. Good morning. Amen. Praise God. You, you're going too fast, whoever that is. Okay, amen. Gerald Thomas, De Denidra Clark, Denisa. Clark, amen. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Amen. Praise the name of God. Anita Hall is on. Saying thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Quangela O'Neill. Good morning, KJ. My granddaughter, Chi Chi. Amen. Praise God. Sister Blunt, our prophetess. Lanasia Hooper is on. Good morning. Amen. God bless you. Good morning, Pastor Barbara Jackson. Oh my God. I don't know what your emojis is. I don't know whether that's painful tears or good tears. But I'm going to tell you something. We got something to laugh about. I want to tell you. I know you had something to tell me, but I got something to tell you too, girl. Yes. I did it this morning. I did it this morning. But I got to tell you about it. It's so good. It's so good. Amen. Praise God. To all of you. To Bishop Harvey. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can you go ahead? If there's anyone. Dr. May Foster Dixon is on. Amen. God bless you. Trixie Bishop is on. God bless you, Trixie. Tina. God bless you, Tina. You and Trudy, Trudy. My sister is on, Trudy, Trudy. Amen. Mother Riggins is on, my oldest sister. We thank God. Brother Reggie is on. Amen. Praise God. Tawana Williams is on. Amen. Amen. Pat Taylor. Good morning, my Taylor. God bless you, baby. Oh, God, I thank God for all of you. Fight been fixed. Yes, it has. Yes, it have. Trudy, amen. Again, Trudy, true. We're getting ready to go somewhere, Trudy. I'm going to tell you about it. Mother Hammock is on. Amen, praise God. Prophetess Vanita Denson. God bless you, Prophetess Vanita. Us. Uh, Crystal is on. Amen. God bless you, Crystal. My baby, she checked on me this week. Thank you, Crystal. Dion is on. God bless you. Good work. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Latanya Walker is on this morning. We appreciate you. My daughter-in-law, Tamika St. Clair is on. God bless you, Tamika. Amen. Charlene Amster Thorpe is on. God bless you. Prophet is past the teacher. Or just Sister Thorpe. Angel St. Clair is on. Bless you, my baby girl. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, all of you, this morning. It is offering time. Victory is mine. Yes, Lord. Yes, it is, uh, uh, Sister Blunt. Prophet is Blunt. Pastor. Who is, is she a pastor? Sister Blunt, God bless you, baby girl. Thank you so much for being on. And Rika's on me, Ed, Tez, I love you. Bless you.
bless you. Amen. 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 KJ is on. Oh, Kwanji. Kwanjula is getting ready to graduate again. We want to throw that out there in the month. Amen. Praise God of May. She will be graduating in the month of May. There is so much going on, amen, with our youth and our young people who are, amen, praise God, in college and those that are working, those, amen, praise God, are working hard to make life, amen, more easier and trying to accomplish. I want to uh, commend all of our young people, whether they're in college, out of college, and they're still attending church, and they're still attending, amen, praise God, services, and allowing, amen, God to bless them. I want to thank God this morning for Shaq, amen, still, amen, sticking, amen, with us, amen, with this broadcast, his hard work, his laboring, amen, praise God. I wouldn't have never known all these lights and all this stuff and camera stuff. I thank God for his education, his knowledge, his wisdom. We want to commend all of our young people, amen, junior, or we call him um Amen. Praise God. Who have knowledge. Amen. Praise God. Of, 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 of music. Amen. Right music. Amen. Good in the uh, on the uh, keyboard. Awesome man of God. Amen. Who has been a blessing to Rama International Ministries. To the KLO. Amen. Praise God. Who is in Amen. A business of his own. This young man is awesome. These are young people. We want to commend these young men. Amen. To Martez own business, doing his own thing. Amen. I don't know the name, amen, of everything of their businesses. I'm just talking about, amen. These are young brotherings who are coming along and they're doing great for themselves. Amen. Who don't have to really ask mom for anything. They are trying to make it. They are trying. Listen, we need to commend our young men. Amen. Praise the name of God. I don't know, praise God. God, who all are on here. I believe Trixie has a son who's out there. Amen. I believe he's working hard. He's doing what he's supposed to do. Mama Roxy, amen, got grandchildren. That's Tay's children, Tay's daughters. Amen. Praise God. Millie has kids. Amen. Praise God. Sons, amen, and daughters who are doing great. Amen. In the kingdom of God. Dr. Dixon, daughter. Amen. Jasmine, I don't know whether she's on this morning, but has a great job. These are young women's and young men's who are coming along doing great but I want to do this amen especially to our young brothers so many of our young men didn't have amen the quality of having fathers in place to bless and help and encourage them listen they and and, and, and you know what the, the the system calls them call our lives dysfunctional but when you have made it you function I don't care what nobody said that ain't dysfunctional just because you're a single parent. I, I don't know where that lie came up. You can function. You can function. I've seen people, amen, praise God, use, lose a limb or a leg. And they've got prostates, uh, prosthesis. And they still function. Come on, somebody. We got to learn, amen, how to bless our families. Bless our families. So many of you that are on, bless your kids. Bless them. Talk to them about, amen, praise God, how to keep on striving, how to keep on moving, how to keep on. Even if, praise God, somebody done got in their ear and shot them a bunch of lies. Listen, shoot them with some morphine. Knock that junk out. Because you've been there before, amen, that mess got in their ears. Y'all better hear that. It's offering time. D. St. Clair is on this morning. Thank you for being on. Brother Leroy, God bless you. It's so good to see you and hear from you. You know I see you. I see that smile. I see that smile, Brother Leroy. You saying, yes, Lord, that's my mama. I love you, son. God bless you so much. Amen for being on. Amen. Lillian, my sister-in-law is on. Amen. Nisi is on this morning. All the way from Canton, Ohio. Thank you for being on, Nisi. You makes me laugh. There's joy in my sister-in-law. It's a good thing to have good people in your life. Yeah. People that are blessed. Amen. I thank you for it. Thank you for it. Amen. <laughs> Your brother just said something. I'm going to leave that right there. Nisa, you can get it. You can get it. Amen. We're going to take up our offering at this time. Those of you, amen, praise God, will sow a seed, amen, this morning. Amen. I'm still trying to look. Somebody said something about my niece, Michaela, is graduating in May. Okay, Trixie. All right. Somebody else. Go back. 
high school, graduating from high school. Oh God, that baby is graduating from school now. Oh my God, D. St. Clair is destiny. Laugh out loud. Chi Chi Chi. I know who D. St. Clair is. Don't be messy. Jaquela. Jaquela is graduating from high school in May. That is Sansan. And Jamal's daughter, Jamal Jackson and Sam Sam Jackson, that's their daughter. I know Jaquela. Amen. God bless them. God bless those babies. Parents, you got to say something. If y'all don't say something, I don't know nothing. Don't assume somebody know. Congratulations to our young people. Yes, congratulations. Yes, we got a bunch of babies. Come on, come on, let's get ready for our offering of $100. Love all of our college babies and our, amen, high school uh, graduates. Amen. What you say? Kiki is graduating in May. That's my granddaughter. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Lil Stank's daughter and Tamika's daughter. Amen. She's graduating in May and she's in the great city, amen, of Florida. Amen. She's attending college in Florida. So she will be graduating. Chi Chi says she's graduating May 13th. May 13th. Amen. May 13th. She's graduating. Somebody said, love you, Nana. I don't know whether that's Didi or Chi Chi. Go down a little bit. Okay, that's Didi. Amen. Praise God. Aaron St. Clair is graduating. Amen. From the fourth college. Amen, praise God. That's Aaron. He's graduating from the fourth college. Somebody got her in college. I, I don't know which college that took her. Praise God and thank you for the word this morning, Pastor. I love you. Thank you for being on. Amen. Those of you, amen, praise God. As we ministered this message, hope that it, amen, added a blessing. And it was a blessing to your soul, to your spirit this morning. If you would sow that seed of $100, amen, we would appreciate it so much. Uh, I want to make this quick announcement, amen, praise God, that we're having Bible study each Wednesday night. I believe it starts at 6 o'clock or 7. Six o'clock Bible study, amen, with Pastor, amen, Bishop Lawanda Harvey, amen. She's doing Bible study, amen, praise the name of the living God. And I want you to know, please, amen, please stop by and get some Bible in you, get some word in you. Uh, Dr. Walker will be reaching out to Rama, amen, uh, and you will be getting a text, amen, a group text concerning some training, amen, and some things that we're getting ready to do. We're going to have family night. I have not forgot it. We're going to play a game, and we're going to get together with the saints of God. Bertha Whitehead, amen. Lakiria is, is graduating. Oh, my God. And Jasmine. Skeet's daughter is graduating. Oh my God, we got some things. Dr. Walker, we got some things to do. Tell her, Nana. Tell, oh yeah, Chi Chi tried to be sick. I get her. She coming. She coming home. Amen. Okay, Aaron said something. Tamika Sinclair sowing a seed. Love you, Oreo. Uh, Chi Chi, get, get out. Get out. I know she talking about Papa. I will send out a text to find out all of the graduates from Raymond. Now, I want you all to be on the watch. Parents, listen to me while I make this announcement. announcement. Be on the watch for Dr. Walker sending out the text. Now, those of you who miss it and you don't be a part of it, I don't want you saying and getting mad about something that you did not do. If you need to tell them to be on Try to be on, make the sacrifice. Now, this is what I want to say to some of you. Those of you parents who did not force, all they had to do was sit down in front of the TV and watch a movie. You did not make family time. You did not make the time to, to, to have service in church. I will not be doing what I usually do to satisfy or please those of you who refuse to do what's right. Have your children to participate in church. If they don't do nothing but flag and say something, good morning, I'm on, and walk off. You, I don't know, but at least give them the acknowledge. But if you're not on, and I know some of the grandparents, I know y'all going to text them and say, Apostle getting ready to do something for y'all. Don't tell them that now. 
You might have to be the one by that gift. Okay, next week, we will be celebrating Founders Day. Whoever that is. Huh? I know it. <laughs> Just a little laugh. The toy ain't got no laugh. Aaron, Aaron said, why you said that girl now? No. Huh? She's in the third or the fourth college, something like that. She's in a college. We just got to name the college because Aaron talks on a level that's not a fifth grade or a five-year-old. She's smarter than a fifth grader. She's smarter than some of the eighth and the tenth and the eleventh graders and the twelfth graders and some grown folks. If you listen to her conversation, Dr. Walker will be sending that out. Please, amen, praise God. Notice there are stipulations. And I didn't say that to be mean, uh, but I want to let you know there are stipulations that we're doing to help and bless our kids. And, and I want you to understand that there are stipulations that we will, amen, require. Dr. Walker have them, and some of you got them last year from the church. Uh, the year before, rather, because we missed last year. Uh, but we did, amen. I think we did some some things, Dr. Walker, amen, did. Great word, Apostle. So thank you, uh, Hazel Parks, amen, uh, Evangelist is on this morning. Thank you, Apostle, for blessing us with that powerful word from the Lord. God bless you, baby girl. We thank you so much, amen, for your being on and showing a seed, amen, to us, amen. We love you. God bless you. We hope to see you next time. Be on the lookout. Amen. For Amen. Group text. If your number has changed and you have not did an update with Dr. Walker, please do an update. If you have a regular phone from a regular company and you can't get us, you need to text somebody in your area that it will reach out to the next door neighbor and use their hotspot. Do something to stay intact and to stay in touch. This is our means of being able to have church. So you got to stay alert and stay on time with us and stay on top of your game. We thank you. We love you. We appreciate you much. Reginald Stevens say, I so thank you so much. Amen. Papa say, hey, little girl. Uh, I guess he's talking to the kids or Aaron. I don't know for sure. But we thank God for all of you. Verizon. Thanks, Sister Law. She said, get some Verizon. Amen. Amen. You can get out better if you go ahead. Pay the fee because when you do that, you be just wasting your money. You're paying like putting a hole. Amen. Putting money with a sack and with holes in it when you just don't get no service. Why are you paying for something there's no service, a good service with? I know some of you all might say, well, who are you talking about? You? Amen, Lanasia. Amen. Amen. I think that's Lanasia. Hooper, God bless you, baby girl. God bless you. We thank God for you. God bless you again. We're gone this morning. We thank you. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. We pray again that the word has blessed you. Those of you who do not have a sense of humor and you don't know how to laugh, you'll be mad all the rest of the day for some of the things that I said that I thought was comical. Life is in me and life more abundant. And I thank God for life. I, I thank God really for all of you. Who are on. You've been a blessing. You've been a great amen. Praise God. Raymond, we, we want to say you are the greatest on this side of heaven. Amen. Praise God to all. Amen. Of those of you that are on, God bless you. Have a great afternoon.